Hi everyone, this is Emily and, and this is my channel Emily's Outdoor Adventure, formerly known as Emily Learning Bushcraft. Uh, I have a friend with me, the, the guy who just passed by. He's actually making a, a fireplace for me now, which is very sweet of him because I've been sick lately. That's why I've been quiet. I, I had um, hals flus, not very fun. And then I got a cold and fever and so on. So I've, yeah, I have not been feeling very well. But I'm I'm on paracetamol right now, so I think I will manage to do this today. Oh, but that's perfect! Oh look, a fireplace just for me. Yeah, keyhole shaped even. Oh, you know what I want. Oh look, I can bake in this too. Okay, you could try. Hi everyone, and um, you know, this is my friend Nix. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, and, and I can see him. You can see me mm. in, in the phone. So if we are talking like this, I'm not being rude. As I got comments when I did with Kevin. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Oh, okay. We, uh, we've been, we known each other for a very long time. <laughs> Okay, we are both from Sweden, so talking in, or speaking English to each other feels a bit awkward. So. Yeah, but he's going to teach me how to handle an axe or how to shop things that's not my hands. Or legs, knees and other parts of you. No, the parts of me, yeah. I, I, I like to keep my legs and hands, they're good when I... When Do I'm, things. When I'm trying to learn bushcraft. <laughs> um, so... Um, but Nix, you are a high school teacher. Yep. As I once w was. You you don't want to come across as an expert. Uh, no, because I am not an expert <laughs> in any way, in, in any field of no, work. No, but I do. <laughs> but you are very good at carving. Extremely good at carving. You 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 can you can make furnitures. I I can't do that. So. Yeah, if you had the time and the tools. I mean, everyone no, no. can do those things, but <laughs> yeah, you I need can't. time. And you all seen my very big fire steel. You made that. I got a lot of questions where I bought it. I, I didn't. I got it from him. It's good to have friends sometimes. Slash slaves. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so um, let's get started with the axe shopping. This is this is my axe, and which is a very uh, good axe, I I believe. What have you done with this? What? What? Have you? what? You see all this on the ridge. Oh yeah. You shouldn't shop stone, you know. And it started to rust on some places. I guess you didn't really clean this after your last video, did you? No, um, I, um, I'm sorry. Um, no. You don't I, have to be sorry for me. It's yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I, but I, I tried. I, I, I had it when it was raining and then I came back home and I was very tired. So I forgot it in my in my rucksack for a day or two and then it was very rusty so I, I, I spoke to Kevin and I, I, I did apologize, I'm so sorry um, because it, um, yeah, but I, I... Okay, in another video maybe we could uh, try to sharpen it so make the edge clean and nice again. Yeah, um, yeah. But it will still work today. It will, yeah. because I love this axe, it's so cute. Yeah. So, some basics. Yeah. I borrowed this from you. So, when you're not using it, you should always have uh, this flap on. The plastic thing, coverage. The say. cover, you should I always have the cover Some on. Some English word, cover. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but uh, we're supposed to be using it. Okay. The further down this axe handle you hold your hand, uh -huh. the more force you get in your swing. Okay. okay. And it's easier to split wood, but it's easier to damage yourself because the more force you use, mm -hmm. 
the higher the risk that this turns towards you. Ow! Okay. Okay. So when you're using it for finer things, yeah. like making a feather stick or just carving like the pro you want to be, <laughs> you move your hand closer to the axe head. Okay. You can even hold the axe head. Okay. And the control in what you do increases. The further from this point you are, the more control you have, but less force. Mm, like a knife. Okay. Mm? You think you can remember that? I'm just joking. Of course you can. So. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. No, no, but that was, no, but that was quite, I mean, that made sense. I mean. Yeah. I mean, if, if I hold it here and I'm so weak, it's a little bit, I mean, this, I don't have control over this. Yeah. I am very weak. I, I mean, I'm not very strong. And, you know, <laughs> maybe I, sh I should work out some more. Maybe you should, or but start. that's not the issue right no, now. No, no, okay. No. Okay. Yeah. So when you're splitting wood yeah. to make uh, firewood, yeah. Yeah, you can't really use your hand up here because yeah, I. you have no force. And if you have force in what you do, I the wood hand. will hurt you. Yeah, okay? I mean, I will, uh, with a clem, I will uh, my hand will be get... You will clem your hand. <laughs> Swinglish, I would, my hand would get stuck between the axe and the wood. It would, yeah, yeah it would hurt. I'm yeah. to clam my things. Squeeze? Get squeezed. squeezed? I don't know. Yeah. Perhaps. Emily and Nick's learning English. Yeah. Yeah, part 55. <laughs> uh, so, when splitting wood, huh? hold further down the axe handle. Okay. okay. And remember, the force you use mm -hmm. when you're chopping, mm -hmm. if you miss, mm -hmm. it can be directed to you. You're right-handed, your right knee is raised, uh -huh. okay? This is your platform and this is your safety harness or whatever we can call it. Uh -huh. Because on the inside of your thighs, what do you have there? I don't want to say that on video. Your arteries, okay? <laughs> you don't want to cut yourself on the inside of your legs. because no, you will I bleed to death. Yeah, yeah. probably, yeah. Uh -huh. So, if you're right-handed, up with your right knee, uh -huh. And when you chop, you don't chop right in front of you, you chop on the outside. That's more natural for your arm because it's located on the side of your body. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, and if I do some weird thing, I, I will cut me here. Uh, and hopefully you won't cut yourself at no, all. No, but, but if, if I you would, do, I would do it here yeah. and not there. Yeah, that would that's be better. the whole point with it. I I'll try not to cut or chop myself at all. Yeah. yeah. And when using a small hatchet like this axe is, uh, you should actually sit when you chop wood because uh, you don't you don't get that much force in it anyway because it's so short. Better to be in control of what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, if you're if you're comfortable in how you sit and how you move, the risk for you to hurt yourself is not as high if okay. when you have to strain yourself to do something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Right knee up, hit something on the outside of the leg, not the leg, okay? Yep. You got that? Oh, I got okay. it. Okay, and you have balance now? Uh, you, I have to think about the ground or the... Yeah, what's that in English? The surface or the... The, the ground or whatever I have under the wood. Yeah, precisely. I we don't know the word for it, but you get it. Because when you're trying to chop wood, yeah. You want all the energy in your swing to go through the wood. And not down into the ground. Well, if you hit it hard enough, you will hit the ground eventually. As but, I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On occasions. But, but the important thing here is if you, if you notice that the ground is covered in moss and other things, mm. it will dampen the... the energy in the strike. Yeah. So all the force will not be directed through the wood. The wood will be directed through the ground. Oh. You understand the difference? Yeah. Yeah. So when you do that, you so have to use more force. And uh, the more force you use, the greater the risk that yes, something I mean. slips and you hit yourself and hurt yourself badly. So I need like a hard surface, but not hard so I can destroy my axe. Yeah. Not, not a rock. Well, and the easiest way to do that is uh -huh. when you're collecting firewood, uh -huh. 
uh, saw down a big piece of lumber uh, or a piece that you actually can carry and handle yeah. and place that on the ground and use that as your solid base for chopping. Yeah. So I watched Kevin teach you how to use yeah. your saw and I then was, chop off. I was but just thinking I did that in Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should start collecting firewood and I'll show you some tricks in how you can use your little saw. Yeah, that's good. It feels like the sun is going down. Okay then. Top. Okay. How did you place your legs? I don't know. Under my body, I was standing up. Okay. Do we need this? Okay, I can get a knife. Yeah. So, if you would would slip with your saw, where would it go? Here. And if it went past that one, where would it go? Between your legs, right? And where is where are your arteries? Oh, okay, I get the point. So how would you stand? How should you stand? Well, I guess then I should have it... Um, I, I... Are you right-handed? Yes, I'm right-handed. I don't know, should, yeah. I, should I do like this then? Yes, and stand parallel with the wood. No. <laughs> Use the wood, this big timber, <laughs> big timber, this, the bigger piece in the middle. Yeah. Use that as your barrier and cut the smaller limbs on the other oh, side. Oh, so high. Yes. But then I can't hold them. You don't have to. Uh -huh. Where are they supposed to go? Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice catch. Yeah. Yeah. The timber is going to collapse on itself and squeeze your saw. Okay. So you don't want that. And when you're using your hand, you're, you're actually okay. making it more difficult but for where yourself. where should I have my hand then? It's in the way I can do things. If you want to use your hand yeah. to hold this piece of wood and you want to help yourself, you should hold on the under... Under? Yeah. But this feels stupid. Why? I don't know. Try. It just feels weird to stand like this. Why? It just... Do does. If <laughs> it does. Okay. Are, are you actually squeezing the wood with your with your knee? Yeah, I don't have much to yeah. squeeze so with. If you release the grip. You know I've been losing weight. Release the grip. Yeah. So, and squeeze. Yeah. Ow! It's like my and cut closer to your knee. My skeleton is squeezing it. Cut closer to your body, but oh. angle it outwards. Yeah, like that. This takes some time to get to get comfortable with, but actually, when you get the hang of it, it will save you both time and limbs. Well, that's good. What is this? I guess it's um, something I need to have when I'm shopping woods, and I need to have it under the wood. Yes. So it will be stable. Stable and absorb the shock. Yeah. So this rock doesn't absorb your axe and it doesn't destroy my axe yeah precisely no. oh and obviously uh, a small hatchet like yours it's not the optimal thing to use in a situation like this really? usually this yeah. is how you do it you split it in quarters first two halves and then you split the halves to quarters and then you split the quarters that's the easy way to do it. Some logs you have already been cutting, Nix. Yeah, yeah. We too realized they were a just... bit too too big for me right now. Yeah. Not so. with a cold in my body, and I'm a bit tired. So. So I helped her out a bit. Yeah, you did. Thank you. You're welcome. So if I'm going to to cut this thing. Yeah. Okay, then I have to have my okay my the other, other way. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should move the camera so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Um, thank you. Something like that. I hope you can see me now. And should I... Yeah, you can use use the other piece of wood. And, yeah. To, just... to get it lodged in. And when it's securely in place, you can just... Yeah, it's now not... you lost it. So try again. Uh... I know for, for you guys who's watching this, this is probably extremely easy, but it's not for me. Um, because first of all, I think it's very heavy. And I have not been doing this at all. During my... Oh, 
vexed at you. My childhood. My childhood never ever had to do this kind of stuff, so I don't have the technique in me at all. Okay, and now what? So, now it's uh, the axe head is securely in place in the firewood you want to split. Now you can use force, drive it up in the air and down. Uh, <laughs> maybe, Emily, if you tried it a bit, like you hate that piece of wood in the ground. Yeah, well, I... But also put it... I mean, how am I... There you go. Oh, wow, look. And what happened with the axe head? I don't know, it's... It's still in one piece. It didn't hit you and didn't hit the rock ground. Oh, that's good. And how does it look? Uh, well, I think the inner part might be... I think dry. we can dry it. If yeah, we, we get can, the we flame can, going. We, we can dry it, absolutely. But we need even smaller pieces, um, I think. Um, because it's too big. Yeah. Just enough so it settles. No, it's loose. <laughs> oh boy. There you go. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. But this thing is slippery. Haha! And did you see it work? No. What? Check it out. Ooh. It's look. not in the rock. It's not in the rock. Okay, Happy Emily. Happy axe. Do you want me to do the rest of this firewood? I'm I'm extremely tired and yeah. my and my throat Take is Take a cup of tea and I fix this. So uh, while Nix is cutting up wood, I'm going to find some dry tinder or those really small branches that you can find under the the trees. What do you call it? Spruce or pines. Yeah, because it's been raining a lot in Sweden last month, so it's very 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 wet. But I'll see what I can find. I don't think this can be. No, this is really wet. Oh! Oh, here it was a lot of water. Hmm, okay. I'll go somewhere else. This can't be dry, this is too easy to read. Well, it snaps. It does, but I don't think it's very dry. So, it will almost be like my other video, making fire in rain. Um, <laughs> except it's not raining, but it has. So making fire in wet condition. Damp. Maybe I should use that word instead. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see if my little homemade fire starters will work. Here we have my... Uh, my sticks, or whatever you can call it. I did lost um, time, or in a video, some kind of super fire things. Uh, it's with resin and birch bark and stuff, so I'm going to see if I can make a fire with them. <laughs> They're quite cute. Um, so I'm planning on sticking... Oh, you see. What a lovely quality. Um, I'm planning on sticking one into the ground and then build a fire around it and then uh, try to get it to burn. And so it's it's not like a top-down fire, but you know, sort of. So I have this with me too. It's um, you know since I made my, my super fire starter, the one in the middle, I had some uh, resin left, so I mixed it up with a lot of other fluffy wood things. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put some of it in here because this is very damp. Um, this wood I think is quite dry, but uh, oh, boy, they have a hole. Okay, this was hard. Ah. Okay, not sure this will work. But hey, let's try. Mm, sounds like something it's 
would be very good to eat. Um, so I have a lot of um, wooden stuff behind me, so I can use if I get this thing to burn. But I will put this in the fire too, so... Because the trick is to keep the fire going once it's started, and that's not so easy. I mean, I managed to make fire in rain, so... Now I need to see if I can make a fire that will continue to burn. <laughs> Maybe I was a bit optimistic when I did this, but... Okay, well, let's see. Okay, so I will hold this another... <clears throat> It's everywhere, but not where it should be. Lower. Lower? No. Okay. This part where it was flying over. Okay, you can't hear him now, but Nix is talking to me, and he said I have to, to hold it lower because the spark is going everywhere. As always when I'm doing <laughs> this kind of things. Mm. I need to get the bark on this thing to start to glow, otherwise the resin won't burn, because the resin need higher temperature. I think it will go perfect with matches, but I'm a very <laughs> stubborn woman. Oh, but it, it's, it's uh, coming some kind of smoke from this at least. Um. Oh wow! Oh, but now I have to place you in this hole. Ow! Without burning myself. <laughs> oh God, it's uh, woohoo! It's really now burning. Stuff. Now I need a lot of smaller. Oh, but this is. I have to place this very. This is still so damp, so I'm worried it will not. Burn. So what I'm doing is that I'm trying to dry all the wood we have, or not we, that Nyx has been cutting. So we, so it dries faster. Because without wood uh, we can't um, cook. Uh, so, anyway, I'm just tying this branch this bigger piece of wood at an angle and uh, then we can hang our pot directly on the branch Ow! Hopefully So, Nix Yeah? What now? Isn't that a bit too high up you think? You don't say. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> I don't know. You're the cooking guy. I'm not. And I'm certainly not a guy. Okay, that's how you do it. You just push it down. Okay. I think. Ah! Trial and error with Emily and Nix. Oh, that would be good. You think? Yeah, it's just that it's a bit um, 
I think it's lichens in it. I'm not sure that's up. Oh, well, that's the main ingredient in mice. <laughs> lichens. Mm. Mm. And, and that's the sy symbiosis of mushroom and algae. Okay. So I'll just make a small notch here. So our pot won't slide all the way down. Okay. It's a lot of smoke. It's a really damp fire. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <coughs> okay. Who needs a shower? It's coming along. Yeah. So. So. Pot. Pot. Uh, potta. That's something you pee in in Swedish. But we're not going to pee. <laughs> Butter. Oh, butter. A lot of it. Yes. I want fat. And I'm really dirty, but you. It's okay. It's okay, okay. As I said in the video before, a piece, little bit of shit clears your <laughs> stomach, as we say in Swedish. Yeah, so this should clean your whole system then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I will be so good tomorrow. No more cold. Okay. Yeah? And what's that? Oh, uh, look, it's chicken. Frozen chicken. Uh, oh, let's see I, how I, that works. It hasn't unfrozen yet. I thought it would. It's been out for so long. <laughs> okay, that's my mistake. I packed it. So, let's just try this on and see what happens. Oh, but we can be here until midnight, right? Yeah. My wife will be really thrilled about that. Oh, but I like your wife. So, uh, so the main ingredient is actually chicken and then beer. Chicken, chicken in beer. What's not to like? What's not to like? No. And the seasoning all mixed up. What's that? Oregano, basilica. Yeah. Basil or oregano? Yeah, I don't know the no, English uh, word for it. Chili. Chili and bouillon? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we take Some it in curry. Swedish. <laughs> bouillon, as we say in Swedish. Tabasco. Tabasco. Yeah. There's a lot of different things here in here that you don't want to know about. So. Okay. You are too far away from the from the microphone, so I don't think they will hear you. Bushki <laughs> bushki. It's the Swedish chef. <laughs> Not the Swedish cook. If you translate chef uh, to Swedish, it's cook. It is. Not kidding. It is. Anyway, something I want to show you. Um, you are very good at carving. And you saw the fire steel I was using. Um, you have made this for me. Yeah. It's... It's... it's I have used it a lot. Yeah, I've seen you use it. So. And uh, it's, it's two different kind of wood. Mahogany and uh, alder. Mahogany and alder? Yeah. What's alder in Swedish? All. All? It's actually okay. a bit too soft to use as a handle, but it's a nice feeling to it. Yeah, I love this fire steel. Uh, but um, when you gave me that, you also gave me another fire steel, which I haven't shown my subscribers. Yeah. Uh, and I used this fire steel in another video I made this summer, but that video didn't make it to YouTube because it was about it was cow poop again and I thought no I, I, I will just make one video with cow poop um, so you also made me this yeah you can see this is a huge fire steel and yeah, what's extra 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 large for the manly man <laughs> for the manly man such as I am no uh, it's it I mean, I thought this was big, but this is... Wow! Yeah. I never had them beside each other. So, so this is a bit larger. <laughs> a bit. Uh, a bit. <laughs> and what's this? Wood? Sebrano. Sebrano? Yes, from West Africa. That's a really hard hardwood. So that wood should last like forever. It should last me forever. And uh, then there's some linseed wax on it. 
linseed oil and bee wax, bees, bees wax, bees wax mixed together. Oh, we need to. Put some. So that that should actually stick with one person. Like yeah, I've, I've only um, used this once, um, and I love it. So why don't you uh, make it like a giveaway when you reach thirty thousand subs? I mean, you have actually used it yourself. Who wouldn't want it? You think? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's it's a lovely fire too, but I have used it. <laughs> Just a scratch on the top. That's nothing. Thirty thousand subs giveaway. Yeah. Why not? You can do it. Why not? Uh, if if there's anyone interested in, in in getting this, but but I won't have any then. I would just. I can make another one to you. Oh, he can. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, purple wood, so you get that pink purple feeling wood. you like. Oh, oh, I would love that. <laughs> okay, but then I can have this. If there's anyone, I don't know. Okay, maybe I should. Okay, uh, you know, uh, if there, <laughs> if there's anyone who's interested in in a giveaway. I had I had I had one giveaway a very long time ago. I think I had 200 subs or something. Um, yeah, but maybe if I reach thir 30,000, crazy. That's crazy. That's a lot of people. Um, but if I do, maybe I should have this as a giveaway. But you know, you you can write comments if you think that would be a good idea. Because if if there's anyone, if you could be, yeah, do you think you know I've used it? Yeah. So it's like 10,000 more strikes on it. So. Okay. Okay. So, Emily has used this fire steel, and if you want to have it as a giveaway, because it's the best fire steel I've ever used. Okay, I haven't used so many, but. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, fire is going, and now I got oh a piece of wood up my face. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. Okay. Wrong, uh, in Swedish, it doesn't sound wrong, but look what. <laughs> Oh wow, that smell resin. Did you, did you find some fat wood? That was about time, as he just said in Swedish. <laughs> Sorry. Look, it's boiling. Oh. Emily, could you do me a favor? Yeah. Uh, you see that plastic box with uh, carrots and stuff? Thanks. Paprika, carrots and potatoes. Oh, that's lovely. I'm so Swedish. Oh, wow. This is going to be healthy. <laughs> mm. Oh, this looks lovely. Yeah. Hopefully it tastes I think the wood you found was really good wood. It's yeah. really burning. That must have been fat wood. I, I, it feels like I'm just repeating myself as they yeah. say, oh wow, how can people want to watch me? But obviously there are people who want to, yeah. and I'm very happy that they that they do. It, it's what keeps me going. In the beginning it was just, you know, trial and error and see if anyone would watch, because my friend said they would, uh, and you know which friend. Uh, and um, But here I am, and I think I've learned a lot. Yeah. Um, it feels like that. I, I don't like to watch my, my videos at all. <laughs> I, I, when I put them on YouTube, then I don't watch them anymore. Uh, but I, but I have friends who used to tell me that, oh God, Emily, you have learned so much since yeah, your first videos. Yeah, you have. I think I have. Yeah. I mean, I managed to keep this fire going, even though it's damp outside. And uh, yeah, this, in, in the beginning, this wood I, was really, really damp. So it, it's uh, really damp today. And in the beginning, I didn't know even how to make a fire. I was just like, okay, wood, um, <laughs> and toilet uh, paper, and toilet <laughs> paper, and and I think toilet paper. I mean, that's fine. Uh, it's it's just that I, I want to try to you know advance, yeah. and and uh, try something else. And I didn't even get toilet paper to 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 burn. Uh, I think I would today, and <laughs> I, I I become a lot better with the fire steel. Yeah, yeah. I have more confidence. So I think the next next step is to try to make a uh, fire with bow drill. Yeah. But I've heard that quite difficult. I don't know. Well, have e you e done everything it? Everything is difficult the first times you do it. Yeah. So I mean, you don't think it's difficult to use a fire steel today, do you? No. no. 
And I'm I think, not your fire seal. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I, I think often I hear you, you're too hard on yourself. I mean, that's a c cool thing about you. I know you. And you always want to make things perfect. You always strive to be better and better. Yeah. And and then you put yourself out here on, on YouTube. And, and I mean, in t nine t times out of ten, things goes wrong. Yep. And then the tenth time, yay, you <laughs> made it. Woohoo. So, I think that's fantastic. You're really growing as a person too. Yeah, well, it's, it's <laughs> uh, I think the whole YouTube thing, uh, it's, it's quite a, a therapy for me yeah. because I don't like to fail. And ever since I was a kid, every time I try something and it doesn't work, then I just uh, quit or I just don't, you know, if it doesn't work the first time, why continue? Yeah. Um, so this is one of the first thing I have continued to do, even though I have failed and failed and failed. And it's been, I mean, some of the videos I made, I, I've been very frustrated out there in the woods. <laughs> I've been angry, I've been upset. And I thought, why am I doing this? seriously why and I've said to myself so many times I would just quit this it's just stupid um, but then a little you know I have a little voice in my head saying no continue for once in your life continue to do something and uh, uh, because you know I have a uh, uh, ADHD I think you say in English or if you call it ADD I don't know what it is uh, but I have that and that makes it very hard for me to to uh, to focus, to keep focus, and and not to. I mean, everything else it's it's exciting and, and new, and I want to try everything, and then to continue to do something and keep the focus. It's very 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 hard for me and very difficult since I'm I'm not taking any medication, I'm just being me. Um, mm. So I think this whole thing with with YouTube and the channel has been as I said it's been therapy for me I, I have uh, learned so much about myself which I didn't intend to in the beginning it was just you know fun thing to do uh, <laughs> and now I have to continue to do it because I have 26,000 viewers or subscribers I don't have so many views but um, and they and they obviously want to see me do stuff out in the woods yeah. and and that keeps me focused so thank you um, you are my medication. You are quite hungry. And you are really hungry. You can hear it boiling. Oh, time to eat. Oh, it smells lovely. Let's eat. Do you want some? <laughs> yes, please. I mean, you have, <laughs> you have been cooking, so... Okay, you get... Oh, look. Hmm. I know it's hot. Have your spork. Mm, okay, that was the leg. Where's the meat? Oh, there's so much food in here. I'm always eating in my videos. Yeah, you do. And maybe this time we will actually... Oh God, this is so good. I know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, what good to have! Mm? Okay, that's very good in Swedish. Thank you. You're welcome. No, but seriously. Ow, 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 ow. Mm. I will bake in another video. Not with you, though. Thanks. <laughs> Even though I enjoy your company. Mm hmm. I don't think I'm the video fame star guy. Oh, please, put some stew <laughs> all over us. Um, Nix was the one who, who um, um, helped me make the handle to the axe. Yeah? Yeah. But that broke. <laughs> so <laughs> Shitty job. Yeah, well, <laughs> I tried. Uh, so... Um, did an excellent job. I did. No, I don't know about that, but uh, that was before I had a channel. Um, so, 
You have to teach me again. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. That sounds good. I saw the, the video when you made that uh, whistle. Yeah? Yeah. The thing you did with your thumb, your technique. Mm hmm You got to believe in yourself. You can do a lot of things. The only thing, let it take time. Yeah, I know. It doesn't I, um, have to be done in five seconds, you know. Tell that to my brain. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> no, I know. I'm in a hurry. I always, I'm always in a hurry. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm starting to, to realize I have to take it more slowly. I'm just, you know, go with the flow, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to eat this now. You don't have to watch us eating. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and thank you so much for being in my video. You might see him again. You know. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I will do next time. I have a lot of such suggestions and a lot of ideas inside my head. I just need to get them done. Um, so take care of yourself and I hope I will see you next time at least. Bye bye!